I'm Lisa Priest and welcome to another vlog. Today's vlog is going to be traumatic. It just is, it just is, because I am walking a marathon for the Alzheimer's Society. I am terrified, terrified. My dad is coming any minute, it's, so it's the night before now, it's Friday night, Friday the 31st of May, and then we're doing the walk tomorrow, Saturday the 1st of June, and it's gonna be all day. Um, it's meant to start at eight o'clock, I reckon we'll finish around five or six p.m. <sighs> <laughs> I have been doing a lot of training. I have a four page training plan and we're now on the last page. <laughs> this has been my life for the past like three months or so, maybe even more. Just walking, walking and walking, trying to get ready for this. Um, I have absolutely knackered my, uh, both of my ankles. One is considerably worse than the other. So I'm gonna be wearing a ankle support for that. Um, my fundraising has been going so much better than I ever expected. I'm just charging my phone, but as of right this second, I'm on £653 raised. I never thought I would raise this much, so thank you so much if you donated. It means so, so much. And my dad has raised like £1,000. I think I'll show you some of the stuff I'm gonna pack in my bag so you can see all the preparation that's going into it there's a lot <laughs> so this is my walking backpack that i'm going to take i put some stuff in it already but not much i've got various types of compi plasters um i've tried them all and i know that these ones are generally the best uh bought some earplugs because my dad is staying with me tonight so <laughs> i'll keep those for later i've bought some various snacks today bought some flapjacks these i'm by the way i'm not going to take all of these i'm just going to put a few in a little bag because flapjacks are my favorite so i feel like they will really help me get around um i've got this little veggie protein powered graze box so i think i might take that out of the and then just take that as a cute little snack and i've got i think i might have these tonight instead oh taste the difference chunky belgian chocolate shortbread yes the best thing about this is that I don't have to think about calories, it's incredible. I've laid out some other of my essentials. Let's go through them. Water bottle, this holds about 600 millilitres, uh, so I'll keep filling that up through the day. This is a breakfast biscuit that I think I'm going to eat as soon as I get up, um, so I might not actually... I don't know, we'll see. They also provide us with food on the trek, so mm, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, headphones, obviously I've made two playlists. One playlist is a keep on walking, come on, motivational, and one is like a you're in pain, but it's okay, they're there type playlist, so I'm looking after myself. Speaking of looking after yourself, I have the, oh, let's put it over here in the pharmacy section, um, ibuprofen gel, which is incredible. Uh, deep freeze pain relief cold gel, which I haven't tried before, but I feel like the pain is coming. Um, paracetamol and ibuprofen. I'm going to start taking ibuprofen tonight because apparently that will help. I don't know. This is what I've been told. £10 to buy snacks en route because <laughs> obviously I don't have enough snacks here. Um, a, uh, what you call it, charger thingy, portable charger. Um, this is my Oyster card holder, uh, in there, and I've put my bank card in as well, um, in case I need that. We are going to get Ubers, so hopefully I won't need my Oyster card, but it always pays to be prepared, and how cute is my, uh, card holder. Um... Yep, fully charged phone, or it will be fully charged. Sunglasses, very important. Keys, very important. This is my beloved uh, ankle strap uh, to keep me going. And yeah, that's that's about it. Seems like a lot or not a lot, I'm not really sure. And this is my general outfit. <laughs> um, so it's a top from the Alzheimer's Society, United We Trek Against Dementia, and then it's pretty much the same on the back as well. Um, some Nike, like running leggings, and these really thick carry more socks which i'll wear with my walking boots as well it is going to be one of the hottest days of the year so far tomorrow on the radio they were describing it as the hottest weekend of the year so far and i was like great of course i would almost be surprised if it wasn't because it's me <laughs> Oh god, I just gotta get to the end. I'm slightly, I've actually been so terrified all week and now I'm slightly getting excited. I hope that the adrenaline helps get me through. Oh, but yeah, I need to go pick up, oh, I need to leave now to pick up dad from the train station. So I'll see you in a bit. Oh, I was meant to blow up his airbed. Oh well. Uh.
featured in Harry Potter. Oh, look at that cloud. That's quite a cool one. St. Paul's, my probably favourite building in London, I reckon. God, it is slightly rough terrain. somewhere in East London, I don't really know where we are to be fair, somewhere in Whitechapel I think. Um, it was actually really nice, they had so many um, like little sweets and uh, energy bars and stuff, shared a brownie, filled up my water bottle, went to the loo and now we're back on. I've got, underside of my right foot is really hurting, I've got a big blister coming there so I put some blister plasters on both of them and yeah feeling all right actually feel a bit energized after that little stop so we've got about another five or six miles until lunch or something like that I think Woo. coming up on one of my other favorite buildings in the world now the st. pancras station which is also is it a renaissance hotel I think lush Cross here, just like the replica in Universal Studios. Oh, we're going on the canal. Oh, how exciting! it to well I'm, I'm saying this slightly prematurely no we haven't made it to the lunch stop I will come back in a minute now I can officially say we have made it to the lunch stop hallelujah five minutes ahead of schedule oh look at that we are currently under a bridge in Camden which is horrific because there's just people everywhere so we're going so slow and it is really hot now London Zoo now. I'm assuming this is the bird Avery. Can't see any birds though. I've spotted a warthog but honestly my filming is not up to zooming in on it right now. I'm a bit knackered but there's Pumba. Dream house right here. There are actually loads of really nice houses along here. Look at this one. Someone's on the terrace as well. How do you get that rich? Can someone please enlighten me? Thanks. 
How many have we done now? 16? Hang on. No, oh. we've done more than 16. Are you sure? Yeah, 17.6. 17.6 oh my god it feels like we're going home now we're in Bayswater I think now and still the bottom of my foot is like absolutely killing now but I'm just at the point where it hurts so much I can't really feel it anymore so yeah onwards yeah at the Royal Albert Hall and my friend to, to cheer us on. You're doing so good. <laughs> Thank you. We're so close now. Seven miles. <sighs> you can do it. Yes, seven miles is easy. I mean, it'll be fine. Oh, Natural History Museum. All these people. Well, it has been some time since my last update. You can tell how little I care about life now that I'm vlogging in an intensely busy area. The pain is un real i feel like i'm walking on hot coals or miniature daggers with every step um but we're just coming up to the london eye and there's well big bends and scaffolding uh, which means there's about half a mile to go we're gonna do it from 8 a.m it is now four past five we're about to do it i can literally see the finish line just through the main bit. Oh god, everyone's going to be looking at us. <laughs> oh, <everyone sees>. <laughs> Yay! Thank god it's over! Yay! the last thing you saw was us crossing the finish line which was the most intense period of relief of my entire life it was horrible <laughs> like the whole thing was so hard the last six miles were horrific like the blisters just kept on coming and the underside of my feet just have about five blisters on each foot and they're like you know the big gross ones as well so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get around for the next week I'm very much hobbling today my actual like body feels fine it's just the blisters now I'm like imagine if I'd have just got my shoes right and my socks right I could have been fine I did a marathon <sighs> And the final um, total on like dad's phone is we did 27.8 miles. Yeah, so even way more than the 26 that we trained to do. So great. But yeah, it was a great day and I'm so, so glad that we did it and we raised so much money for um, Alzheimer's Society. I've currently raised 660 pounds. It's incredible, incredible so much so worth all the pain for sure if you do have any spare cash and you would like to donate it would be incredible if you could um the link to my fundraising page will be below and thank you so much if you've donated already because i know a lot of you have so thank you very much absolutely boiling in london again today and it's so oh god we're gonna go out for a massive breakfast now we had a massive dinner last night and i'm still hungry so out for breakfast dad's nearly going home have you got any final thoughts for everyone? Well, it was it was interesting. <laughs> it was probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. But I'm glad I've done it. Um, it was an occasion I've enjoyed it. I think the most enjoyable part was being having a weekend with Lisa. Oh. And then, of course, the most important thing of all is we probably raised nearly two thousand pounds for Alzheimer's. So. But it was a fantastic experience. But I'm never doing it again. Never ever. No. And on that note, <laughs> it's time to go. So thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.